of the three-part series Dad's doing on the Earthbag Construction Basics. Today, he will be sharing information on roofs. We've looked at the basics of circle design and stairs. Let's check out roof construction. Just like the stair basics, roofs follow the same idea of rise and run. The idea is this, that a pitch is created when one end of a level line is raised. We measure roof pitches using inches in a mathematical ratio. Yeah, it's that math stuff again. For example, the run is 12 inches horizontal, and the rise is whatever your desired pitch. Let's use 6 inches vertically. This creates a triangle with a perfect square corner. And triangles are the typical geometric shape used in roof construction. The ratio is displayed like this, 6-12. This means that for every foot of the run, it rises 6 inches. Let's apply this to a roof example. The building is 10 feet wide. This is also called the span, by the way. We want to place the pitched roof equally down the center of the building. To find the center line, divide the 10 feet in half. The run is 5 foot. We will use the 612 pitch. There are five 12 inch increments in this run. Multiply 5 feet times the rise of 6 inches to create a 30 inch total rise. We can use these triangles to create roofs, but how does all this roof stuff like fit together? This is one typical design for a roof. Top plates sit on top of the wall. The ridge typically runs right down the center of the peak of a roof. The rafter travels from the peak at the top down to the wall. The tail is what hangs over the wall or beyond the wall. The bird's mouth is the notch at the bottom of the rafter. Height at plum, also known as hap, is the vertical distance from the top plate to the top of the rafter at the bird's mouth. The seat cut, if possible, matches the width of the wall and acts as a secure point to attach to the rafter. Wow, there are so many parts to a roof. Let's just focus on the common rafter. Common rafters are all the same. I guess that's what makes them common. So, how are rafters measured for length? I do recommend an online calculator to get a rafter length, but it's always a good idea to know some of the math behind these things. A rafter's length is determined from the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I hope I haven't brought up any painful memories. Let's do this. The run is 5 feet or 60 inches. 60 times 60 equals 3,600. The rise is 30 inches. 30 times 30 equals 900. That's the b part of the equation. 3,600 plus 900 is 4,500. Now the square root of 4500 is 67.082, and of course I use the calculator for that one. That is 67 inches, and 0 .082 is really close to that 1 16th. How do we set the rafter on the wall? There's a notch at the tail end of the rafter called a bird's mouth. Funny name, huh? Make a mark for the hap and another plum cut mark going down. If at all possible, try to use the width of the top plate to match the length of the seat cut. This allows for the underside of the rafter to meet the exact corner of the inside of the top plate. Now a tail would need to be added to give a roof an eave. This is calculated by using the hap moving horizontally out from the wall to your desired eave width. Let's say 24 inches. So what do you do when you have an earth bag for a top plate? The top of the bags vary in elevation and are not level. That's a typical. And the roundness may not be a perfect circle. So to overcome these problems, we use a cleat platform to attach the rafters to the top of the earth bags. This is how it works. It functions as a regular cleat that connects the bags together and it serves as an adjustable platform to raise or lower a rafter to its correct level height.
there's a great deal more that can be explored concerning foundation layout, stairs, and roofs. We're only touching the basics. If you're interested in webinars that e explore even deeper the foundations of Earthback basics, and you would like to have your questions answered like directly in a webinar setting, there's an option available on our Patreon page. There'll be a link in the description. Occasionally I'll do more of these brief videos upon request. Please let me know and comment below. And that rhymes. And that's a wrap. We'll be posting a video that will contain all the construction basic videos in one. But that will not take place of a regular weekly peek. That will be going out Wednesday, Thursday, or whenever it's ready. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday. Thank you. Can you say that a little clear? It was clear in my head. The tilting head. Can you see me? Yeah. No. I don't know if you can see this, but I have an in, in, very bad sunburn right now. That's disturbing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.